So, okay, Chad, you're asking now about, um, you've bought a Blue Spark microphone. Gorgeous bit of kit. I've got a number of uh, Blue microphones myself. They are really good, and you have not wasted your money. Um, you do, I thought you were doing things a little bit complicated. I want to show you the, the setup that I've got. That in itself is a bit complicated. And I have to move my, um, my webcam around to show you. Um, but basically, what I do, this goes straight into um, a sound card. Let me show you um, the two sound cards that I have. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is my Yamaha external sound card. If you're interested in that, let me see if I can show you the, the model of it. There you go. Now, the one that you're looking at, I'm here in the UK. I'm not quite sure where you are. But here in the UK, this was about £170. I think dollars-wise, that would be heading towards $300. But there is a smaller version. Let me show you this one. This, again, is a Yamaha. Okay. The... Um, see if I can move this to the right. The autofocus is trying to do its best, but it's not doing a great job there. Okay. Anyway, this the difference is... Um, you can see it's just the, the amount of inputs, really. And the white one here that you're looking at, that was about £140 new, maybe 120 That will be kind of $200. So you can just tell um, the difference in inputs, really. Um, that's all you're paying for. <coughs> now, while I'm showing you this, um, and you would do it exactly the same on, a, on a, an external sound card, if you wanted to put two sets of headphones in, because these sound cards, if you've not used one before, they are a bit tricky to, to kind of use. This here, let me try and speak at the same time. This here, this is a dual connector. Okay. Um, and what that allows me to do is to put two sets of headphones in. Okay. Um, I, d I often do um, quite a bit of interviewing here. So that's basically the setup. Your microphone, I'll show you mine. Uh, so this this is my microphone, okay? And it would go into one of these ports, okay? Now, you need to make sure that on the back there is a, um, a source for a USB out. Now, once you've done that, you just plug the USB into your computer. And then you need to go to Skype, which I've already got open here. So, okay, Chad, now um, I've had to switch things over so that you can see what I'm now doing on screen. So I've shown you what you do with your sound card. It's very straightforward. There is one other thing that you need to be very aware of, and that is that a lot of these, once you, you buy the correct one with a, an interface for USB, um, they are, a lot of them are plug and play, which is great. You can plug them in, get work looking straight away. But you need to download the software for whatever it is you buy. And the reason for that is that if you just use the plug and play, m many of the pro functionalities are missing. They only occur now when you put the software in. So that's important. And the reason for that is, okay, we're now on screen here. You go to... Um, let's see if I can just come out of Skype. So you open Skype. Give it a second to open. I just want to show you how to look for your sound card. Okay. Um, so you then go to Tools. You go to Options. And then here you click Audio Settings. And this is the one that you're interested in here. So you click the right hand, the, the little drop down. And the top one there is my webcam. I don't want to use that. It's a dreadful microphone. So I want to use this one. So you click on that. Now, this will only appear if you've downloaded the software. So you need to download the software. It's really important that you do that. Okay. So you click on that. And the other th thing that you need to do is make sure that the volume here is cranked up really quite high. And that your volume on your sound card is cranked up. You want these green lines uh, to come to about three quarters the way up like they are doing at the moment. Now, um, the re the reasons for having to crank them up, and I'm not sure 
about your blue spark but this is the Shure SM7B and these kind of microphones are very low impedance which means that they take a lot of juice so hence having to put them through a sound card and really yank up the um, the sound now if you do that um, I'm sure your girlfriend will be delighted you will not have a problem in being heard on the other side okay so just to reiterate everything you plug your microphone in through one of these on here in there okay you will need to play around with the settings on the bottom and to use one of these there's loads of YouTube videos out there to show you how to do that um, you then put this the sound card in through USB open Skype and off you go so I hope that's been of some use to you Chad uh, and anyone else that might be picking up this from YouTube so if you need anything else Chad you can just Facebook 